and merely require ordinary treatment. They produce their golden and brown and yellow flowers in July. Height, 1 foot saponaria dash these grow best in a mixture of sandy loam and peat or decayed vegetable soil. The annuals may be sown either in autumn, and wintered in a frame, or in the open in April. The perennials are increased by seed or by division of the root, and young cuttings of the branching species root freely if planted under glass. S. ocymoides, on account of its trailing nature, and S. calabrica make fine rockwork plants. The leaves of S. officinalis, or soap plant, if table of contents stirred in water form a lather strong enough to remove grease spots. They bloom in June and July. Height, 6 inches. To 2 feet Saracenia. Curious herbaceous plants, requiring to be grown in pots of rough peat, filled up with sphagnum moss, in a moderately cool house having a moist atmosphere. They flower in June, and are increased by division. Height, from 9 inches. To 1 foot Saramidum guttatum. This makes a good window or cool greenhouse plant. Pot the tuber in good loam and leaf soil, and keep the mold only just damp until the foliage, which follows the flowers, appears. When the foliage fails, keep the tubers dry till spring. If grown out of doors the tubers must be lifted before frost sets in. Savoys dash sow the seed in March or April, and when the plants are 2 inches. High remove them to a nursery bed, selecting the strongest first. Let them remain till they are about 6 inches. High, then transplant them, 18 in. Apart, in well manured soil. Their flavor is greatly improved if they are frozen before being cut for use. Saxifrage dash these beautiful alpine perennials delight in a light, sandy soil and are easily propagated by seed or division. It is most convenient to grow the rare and tender kinds in pots, as they require the protection of a frame in winter. Saxifragus of therpii is very suitable for the lower and damper parts of rockwork, it is hardy, and sheds its seed freely. S. Umbrosa, London Pride, makes a neat border, and is also useful for rockwork. S. Armentisa, mother of thousands, is a fine hanging plant for greenhouse or window. They flower in April. Height, mostly 4 inches. To 6 inches, but some grow as high as 1 minus a half foot scabious. Ornamental and floriferous hardy biennials, which grow freely in common soil. The seed may be sown at any time between March and midsummer, transplant in the autumn. They bloom in June. Height, 1 foot to 3 feet, see also cephalaria. Scale. Red scale may be easily overcome with a strong solution of soft soap applied with a sponge. White scale is harder to deal with. Syringe frequently with strong soap suds heated to 120 degrees. If the plant is badly attacked it is best to destroy it. Schizanthus. Extremely beautiful and showy annuals. A rather poor, light soil is most suitable for their growth. For early flowering sow the seed in autumn, and keep the young plants in a frame or greenhouse throughout the winter. For a succession of bloom sow in the open border early in the spring. They flower in July and August. Height. 2 feet schizopetalum dash the singular and delightfully fragrant annual does best in a mixture of loam, peat, and sand, or sandy loam and leaf mold. Sow the seed in pots in the spring, place in a greenhouse, and when large enough to handle, plant out in the open border, or it may be kept in an airy part of the house, where it will bloom in June. Table of contents height, 1 foot schizostylus coccinea, crimson flag, or coffra lily, Dot. A most lovely autumn blooming plant, producing abundant spikes of isia like flowers about 2 feet high. It is suitable for pot culture or planting outdoors, and is quite hardy. It requires a rich, light soil. Scillas, squills, dot dash very useful spring flowering bulbs. They are hardy, and do well in any position in light soil. When mixed with crocuses and snowdrops they produce a very charming effect. To get perfection of bloom they require deep planting. S. Siberica especially looks well when grown in pots with snowdrops. 
Scylla roots are poisonous. General height, 1 foot scores an era dash so in March in light soil in rows 18 inches. Apart. Thin the plants out to about 7 inches. One from the other. They may perhaps be ready for use in August, but to have large roots they should be left till they are 2 years old. They may remain in the ground till wanted for use, or they may be lifted in October and stored like beet, etc. This vegetable is scraped and thrown into cold water for a few hours, then boiled in the same way as carrots and parsnips. Scutellaria dash these plants will grow in any good soil. The hardy perennials flower in July. The greenhouse varieties merely require protecting in the winter. They all bear division of the root, and are easily raised from seed. Height, 1 minus a half feet Cyphanthus dash an elegant and curious trailer, which is best grown in a loamy soil. It may be increased from seed sown in April, and it flowers in August. Height, 2 feet sea cabbage dash sea crambay cordifolia. Sea kale dash the readiest way of propagating this useful vegetable is by offsets, but it may be raised from seed sown in March or April in rows one foot apart. Thin out the young plants to 6 inches in the rows, and transplant in February or March into well-trenched, deep, rich soil in rows 2 feet apart and the plants 15 inches asunder. Keep the plants to one crown, or shoot, and remove all flower shoots as they appear. In dry weather give a liberal quantity of liquid manure. Cropping may commence after the roots have been planted two years. See lavender dash see status see. see milkweed dash see glow. Sedum, stone crop, dot dash this well-known hardy perennial is suitable for pots or rock work. It delights in a light, sandy soil and is readily increased by division or cuttings. It flowers in June or July. Height, 3 inches. Seed sowing. Dash two of the most important points in the sowing of seed are the proper condition of the ground and the regular and uniform table of contents depth at which the seed is sown. Seeds require light, heat, air, and moisture for their germination. The ground should be light, and in such a condition that the young roots can easily penetrate it, and in all cases should be freshly dug so as to communicate air and moisture, it should be neither too wet nor too dry. The most favorable time for seed sowing is just before a gentle rain. If sown too early on cold, wet ground, the seed is apt to rot, when sown too shallow in a dry time, there may not be sufficient moisture to cause it to sprout. The seed should be sown evenly. The size of a seed is a nearly safe guide as to the depth at which it should be sown. For instance, beans and peas of all kinds should be sown about a couple of inches deep, while very small flower seeds merely require to be just covered. As to the time for sowing, see annuals, biennials, and perennials. Seeds, the protection of in order to protect seeds against birds, insects, and rodents, soak them in water containing 20 or 25 percent of mineral oil. Vegetable seeds, such as haricot beans and peas, should be soaked for 12 hours, and the pips of apples and pears for double that time. For soaking the finer seeds, bitter liquids, such as that of quassia and gentian, should be used. Sempervivum, house leek, Dot dash the hardy kinds are well known, and may often be seen growing on the roofs of cottages and on walls. They make good rockwork plants, and are easily increased by offsets. The more tender kinds are suitable for the greenhouse. These should be planted in sandy loam and old brick rubbish. They require but very little water, more may be given when they are in flower. Cuttings, after being laid aside for a day or two to dry, will soon make root. Height, 6 inches. Senecio pulcher, noble crimson groundsel, dot dash a warm position and a deep, rich, well-drained soil are needed for this flower. It may be propagated by cutting the roots into pieces 5 or 6 inches long, and dibbling them into light soil. It is also increased by the rootlets, which send up small growths in spring. Protect from damp and frost and keep a sharp lookout for slugs. The flowers are produced in autumn. Height, 3 feet senna, bladder dash c. coleidia. 
sensitive plant dash C mimosa. Shallots. Plant the bulbs in November, or in February or March, in rows 9 inches apart, and the bulbs 6 inches one from the other. In July, when the tops are dying down, lift the bulbs, lay them in the sunshine to dry, then store them in a cool place. Shamrock dash C trifolium ribbons. Sheep scabious. C. jejuni. Shorsha galassifolia dash A. hardy, creeping alpine evergreen, having oval leaves, slightly notched at the margins, which turn to a brilliant table of contents crimson during the autumn and winter months. In April and May it produces pearly white flowers, some with campanulate in form. It may be planted in early autumn or spring. A light, rich soil suits it best, and it delights in partial shade. It is a lovely plant for rock work. Height, 6 inches. Shrubs. Deciduous shrubs may be transplanted at any time during late autumn or winter when the ground is not too wet. Evergreen shrubs may be moved either early in autumn or in April or May, damp, warm, but not sunny weather being most suitable for the operation. They rejoice in a clean, healthy soil, such as good loam, animal manure does not agree with them, but wood ashes, or charcoal powder with a little guano, may be used. Cuttings of shrubs or trees may be taken in September, placed in a mixture of sandy loam and leaf mold with one half in of sand on top, and covered with a hand glass, 5 to 8 inches, is a good length for the cuttings, all of which, with the exception of about 1 inch, should be buried, and preferably with a heel of old wood. Keep the soil just damp and give shade. Shrubs for lawns. Monkey puzzle, Araucaria imbricata, dash mix wood ashes and burnt refuse with the soil. Thujopsis delabrata, Thujopsis borealis, of taller growth, Irish use, Cupressus lawson iana erecta viridis, Thuges orientalis, vervinina, semprorescens, standard rhododendrons, standard, and pyramid hollies, Yucca gloriosa, a perfect picture, Yucca recurva, the best hardy plant for vases. The Circus tree is also well adapted for lawns. Sicios dash this hardy annual somewhat resembles the cucumber, but is scarcely worth growing except as a curiosity. The seeds are sown on a hotbed in spring, potted off when strong enough, and transferred to the open border early in June. It is a climber, and flowers in August. Height, 3 feet Cytalsa dash very pretty hardy perennials, of easy culture. S. candida has pure white flowers closely arranged on the upper part of the stems. S. malviaflora bears beautifully fringed, satiny pink flowers. They will grow in any good soil from seed sown in autumn and protected during the winter, or they may be increased by division of the roots. Height, 3 feet Xylene, catch fly, dot dash elegant plants, delighting in a light, rich soil. Sow the seeds of the annual varieties early in April where they are intended to bloom. Xylene pendula, when sown in the autumn, makes a pleasing show of pink flowers in the spring. The roots of the herbaceous kinds may be divided in spring. The shrubby sorts are increased by cuttings planted under a hand glass. The dwarfs make fine rockwork ornaments. Flowers are produced in June and July. Height, 2 in. To 1 minus a half feet Sylphia marantiacum. A good and hardy border perennial, which produces during July and August large deep orange yellow flowers resembling a sunflower. It is very useful for cutting, will grow anywhere, and can be increased by dividing the root. Height, 4 feet. Table of contents Cicerentium grandifolium, satin flower, or rush lily, dot dash a light loam suits this plant, which is moderately hardy. The soil should be moist, but not wet. It does not like being disturbed, but when necessary the crowns may be divided in autumn, taking care to spread the roots well out. It blooms in April or May. Height, 1 foot skimia. Neat growing, dwarf evergreen shrubs having laurel-like leaves, and producing a profusion of scarlet berries in winter. They succeed in any ordinary soil, but thrive best in peat and loam, and are propagated by cuttings placed in heat under glass. 
Slugs. A sharp watch should be kept over all slugs, and constant visits paid to the garden at daybreak for their destruction. If fresh cabbage leaves are strewed about in the evening the slugs will congregate under them, and in the morning they may be gathered up and dropped into strong brine. The ground may also be dusted with fresh lime, which is fatal to them, but in wet weather the lime soon loses its power. Smilax a greenhouse climbing plant that is admired for its foliage rather than its bloom. A mixture of peat and loam or leaf mold and sandy loam suits it. Train the shoots upstream, and freely water the plant in summer, during the autumn and winter it does not need much moisture. Keep the temperature of the house up to 60 degrees throughout the winter. It is readily increased by cuttings. It flowers in July. Fine for table decoration. Height, 4 feet snails dash to prevent snails crawling up walls or fruit trees dog the ground with a thick paste of soot and train oil. There is no remedy so effectual for their destruction as hand picking. Snakes head lilies dash see fritillarias. Snapdragon dash see antirinum. Sneeze word. See achillea. Snowball tree dash see viburnum. Snowbearer dash see symphoricarpus. Snowdrops. Gallon thus, dot dash these are most effective in clumps. They may be planted at any time from September to December, and left alone for three or four years, when they may be taken up and divided. They grow best in a light, rich soil. Snowdrop tree dash see halesia. Snowflake dash see leucogem. Snow in summer dash see arabis. Table of contents soil and its treatment dash loam is a mixture of clay and sand. When the former predominates it is termed heavy loam, and when the latter abounds it is called light. Marl is a compound of chalk and clay, or chalk and loam. Though suitable for certain fruit trees and a few other things, few flowers will grow in it. Drainage is one of the most important considerations in the cultivation of flowers. Should the soil be clay, and hold water, make V-shaped drains, three feet below the surface, and let two inches. Pipes lead to a deep hole made at the lowest part of the garden and filled with brick rubbish, or other porous substances, through which the water may drain, otherwise the cold, damp earth will rot the roots of the plants. Trenching is the process of digging deep, so as to loosen and expose the soil as much as possible to the action of the air. If this is done in the autumn or early winter to a new garden, it is best to dig it deep, say about two feet and leave it in large clods to the pulverizing action of the frost, after which it is easily raked level for spring planting. If the clods are turned over the grass will rot and help to improve the ground, new land thus treated will not require manuring the first year. Should the ground be clay, fine ashes or coarse sand thrown over the rough clods after trenching will greatly improve it. Digging should be done when the ground is fairly dry, and about one spade deep, Avoid treading it down as much as possible. Hoeing must be constantly attended to, both to prevent the soil becoming exhausted of its nourishment by the rapid growth of weeds, and because when the surface becomes hard and cracked the rain runs through the deep fissures, leaving the surface soil dry and the roots of the plants unnourished. Mulching consists in spreading a layer of stable manure, about 3 inches deep, over the roots of trees and plants in the autumn to keep them warm and moist. The manure may be forked into the soil in the spring. Watering the plants carefully is of great consequence. Evening or early morning is the best time, and one copious application is far better than little and often. Water may be given to the roots at any time, but should not be sprinkled over the leaves in a hot sun nor in cold weather. Plants having a soft or woolly foliage should never be wetted overhead, but those with hard and shiny leaves may be freely siringed especially when in full growth. Selenum dash showy greenhouse shrubs, some of which have ornamental foliage. The soil in which they are grown should be light and rich. Cuttings planted in sand under glass strike readily. The tender annual varieties may be sown on a hotbed in spring, and placed in the border at the end of May in a dry, sheltered situation, where they will flower in June. Height, 1 foot. And upwards. Table of contents sold in Ella's dash these small herbaceous perennials should find a place in all alpine collections.
they grow best in sandy peat, or in leaf mold with a liberal addition of sand, and they require a moderate amount of moisture. They may be increased by dividing the roots in April. They flower from March to May. Height, 4 inches. Or 5 inches. Soladago, goldenrod, dot dash a useful hardy perennial for the back of borders. Throughout late summer and autumn it produces masses of golden flowers. It is not over particular as to soil, and may be increased by dividing the root in the spring. It increases very rapidly. Height, 2 feet to 6 feet Solomon seal, polygonatum multiflorum, dot dash a graceful hardy plant bearing white pendulant flowers on long curving stems. Plant freely in light, rich soil, in a shady position or under trees. The plants should not be disturbed, even by digging among the roots. Flowers in May. Height, 2 feet soot water. For room and window plants soot water has this advantage over coarse animal manures, that while the latter are unhealthy and apt to taint the air, the former is purifying and has no unpleasant smell. It is easily made by tying a little soot in a coarse canvas bag and immersing it in a pail of water. It should be applied in a clear, thin state to plants in bud or in full growth during the summer months. Sorrel dash so in March or April in any garden soil, thin out to one foot apart. It is desirable to cut away the flower stems and to divide the roots every two or three years. The plants may be forced for winter use. Southern wood, Artemisia arborea, dot dash any soil suits this odoriferous bush, and it is readily increased by cuttings or by division. Sparaxis. Closely allied to the Ixias, equally beautiful and varied in color, but rather dwarfer and compact in growth. Invaluable for pot culture. For outdoor cultivation plant them early in September, 5 or 6 inches. Deep, on a sheltered border, in rich, well-drained, loamy soil. Protect from frost and wet in the winter, but keep the roots moist while they are growing. For indoor cultivation plant 4 to 6 bulbs in a 5 inches. Pot, plunge in ashes in a cold frame, withholding water till the plants appear. When making full growth remove them to a sunny window or conservatory, and water them carefully. They will bloom in March or April. Height, 3 feet Sparmania africana dash an exceedingly handsome and attractive greenhouse evergreen shrub, thriving best in loam and peat. Cuttings may be struck in sand under glass. May is its flowering season. Height, 10 feet Spartium juncerum, yellow broom, dot dash a hardy evergreen shrub which will grow in any soil, and is propagated by seeds. It flowers in August. Table of contents height, 6 feet specularia speculum. See Venus's looking glass. Spergula pilfer dash may be grown in any moist situation in sandy soil. It is of little value. Sphenogyne speciosa dash an elegant hardy annual. Sow the seed early in spring on a gentle hotbed in loam and peat, harden off, and transplant at the end of May to a soil composed of loam and leaf mold, if peat cannot be obtained. The bloom is produced in July. Height, 1 foot spider wort dash C. Camelina and Trata scantia. Spigelia marilindica dash from August to October this hardy perennial produces tubular crimson and yellow flowers. It finds a congenial home in damp peat, shaded from the sun, and may be propagated by cuttings in loam and peat under glass. Height, 1 foot spinach. For summer use sow the round seeded kinds at intervals of two or three weeks from February to the end of July in rows one foot apart, cover with the finest of soil, and thin out to a distance of three or four inches. In dry weather give a liberal supply of manure water. Pull before it runs to seed. For winter use sow the prickly seeded variety in August and September, and thin the plants out nine inches. Apart. If the ground is hot and dry, the seed should be soaked for 24 hours before it is sown. New Zealand spinach may be sown in the open during May, choosing the warmest spot for its growth, but it is best to sow it in heat in March, keeping the soil fairly moist, and, after hardening it off, to plant it out in June third foot. Apart so perpetual spinach or spinach beet in March in drills one foot apart. 
cut the leaves frequently, when a fresh crop will be produced. Spear aeas dash placed in the open ground these make splendid plants, and are not particular as to soil, though a moist, rich one is preferable. For forcing, plant the clumps in 6 inches. Pots, and keep them in a cool frame until they are well rooted. They may then be removed indoors and forced rapidly, supplying them with an abundance of water. Their elegant flower spikes are invaluable for bouquets and table decoration. The shrubby kinds are increased by layers or cuttings of the young wood, the herbaceous varieties by division of the roots in autumn. Spirea aruncus, if potted early in the autumn, is very valuable for winter decoration. Spear aeas bloom at different periods, from May to August, and vary in height, 3 or 4 feet being the general growth. Spruce firs dash sea abbeys. Stachys coccinea this scarlet hardy annual is fine for bees. It may be grown in any soil from seed sown in March or April. Height, 1 foot. Stachys lanata a hardy perennial which will grow in any soil, and bears division. It flowers in July. Height, 2 feet table of contents Staphylia colchica, Mexican bladder nut, dot. This beautiful free flowering shrub will grow in any garden soil, and produces bunches of fragrant, delicate white flowers in June. It forces well, and may be made to flower at Easter by potting it in rich, light soil, placing it in a cold frame till the middle of January, keeping the roots moist, then bringing it into the warm house. It may be propagated by suckers from the roots, by layers, or by cuttings taken in autumn. Starflower dash C. Triantalis. Star of Bethlehem dash C. Ornithogalum. Statusy, C. Lavender, dot dash the greenhouse and frame varieties succeed best in sandy loam and peat, and may be increased by cuttings placed under a bell glass or in a warm pit. The hardy herbaceous kinds are very suitable for the front of flower borders, and may be freely increased by seeds or division. The annuals, if sown in March, will produce flowers in July. Statics require a good amount of water, but thorough drainage must be ensured. If the flowers are dried they will keep their color for a considerable time. Height, 1 foot to 1 minus a half feet Stauntonia latifolia dash a greenhouse evergreen climbing plant, which needs a peat and loam soil and plenty of room for its roots. It flowers in April, and is increased by cuttings planted in sand under glass, with a gentle heat. Height, 10 feet Stenactus, fleabane, dot dash showy hardy perennials which make fine bedding plants. They may be grown from seed, which is produced in great quantities, and merely requires the same treatment as other perennials, or they may be propagated by dividing the plants. They bloom in July. Height, 2 feet Stephan Otis. This pretty evergreen twining plant is most suitable for the greenhouse, and flourishes in a mixture of loam and leaf mold. It flowers in May, and is increased by cutting struck in heat. Height, 10 feet Sternbergia lutea a hardy perennial which produces bright yellow flowers in August. It likes a rich soil, and is propagated by offsets. Height, 6 inches. Steepa penata, feather grass, dot dash one of the most graceful of our ornamental grasses, and most attractive in the border. The seed may be sown early in March, keeping the ground moist until it has germinated, and it is also increased by division. Height, 2 feet Stobia purpurea dash a hardy border plant with long spiny foliage, and bearing from July to September large light blue flowers. It requires a light, rich soil. Young cuttings may be struck in sand. Height, 1 foot stocks table of contents annual, or 10 weeks stocks dash sow the seeds in February, March, April, and May for succession, those sown in May will continue to flower till Christmas. The soil should be rich, and occasionally a little manure water may be given. Another sowing may be made in August and September. When the plants have several leaves pot off singly in vegetable loam and river sand. Height, 1 foot to 1 minus a half feet Brompton. So very thinly during the first week in May in a rich, light, sandy border, with an eastern aspect. When 2 or 3 inches. High, thin out to 9 inches. 
apart. Those taken out may be replanted in the flower border, 9 inches from each other. In transplanting reject those plants having a long tap root, they generally prove to be single. If the following winter be severe they must be protected with mats. Any desirable varieties may be propagated by cuttings, which root readily under glass if kept shaded. Should it be desirable to transplant them to another part of the garden, March or April will be found the best time to remove them. Shade the plants till they are established, and use liquid manure till they begin to flower. Greenhouse or shrubby species grow best in a mixture of light soil and sand, and cuttings of these stalks root readily under glass. Night scented stalks dash C. Mathiola bicornis. If emperor, imperial, or intermediate stalks are sown in March or April, they will flower in the autumn. If sown in June or July, they will flower during the following June, and throughout the summer and autumn. Stoxia cyania a handsome herbaceous perennial which is quite hardy, but owing to the late period at which it flowers its blooms are liable to be cut off by frosts. It is therefore more suitable for a cool house than the open air, unless the warmest and most sheltered position be assigned to it. A rich, sandy soil is indispensable for its growth. It may be increased by dividing the roots in spring. The flowers are produced from October to December. Height, 1 minus a half feet stone crop dash C sedum. Strawberries dash the soil most suitable for the growth of this fruit is a rich, deep, adhesive loam. July or early in August is the best time to make new beds, but if the ground be not then available runners from the old plants may be planted in peat on a north border and lifted with good balls of earth to their permanent bed in the spring. Set them firmly in rows 2 feet apart and 18 inches. From plant to plant. Spread out the roots and avoid deep planting. Remove from the old plants all runners not required for new beds before they take root, as they exhaust the crown. In dry seasons liquid manure is highly beneficial. Some growers give supports to the fruit by means of fork-shaped pegs, while others lay straw down to keep the fruit free from grit. Keep a sharp lookout for snails and slugs. King of the Earlies, Augusta Nicase, Royal Sovereign, Vicontes Herricard de Thury, Gunton Park, President, Sir Joseph Paxton, Lord Suffield, Noble, and Samuel Bradley are excellent sorts. For ornamental strawberries, see Table of Contents Fragaria Indica. Strawberry Tree. C. Arbutus. Streptocarpus, Cape Primrose. Dot dash this plant is a greenhouse perennial, showing great variety of colors from white to violet and crimson, and is of neat habit. A light and rather rich soil or vegetable mold suits it best. Seed sown in February in slight heat will produce plants for flowering in July, that sown in March or April will flower in August and September. Grow slowly in small pots, and in February put them in their flowering pots. Give plenty of air and shade them from the sun. It may also be increased by division, or leaf cuttings may be taken under a bell glass. The plants like plenty of water, but need good drainage. Height, 9 inches. Streptosolan Jamesoni. A good compost for this greenhouse evergreen shrub is two parts sandy loam, one part leaf mold, and a little silver sand. During growth it needs a liberal supply of water and to be kept near the glass, only a small amount of moisture should be given in winter. In March cut it into shape, and repot it as soon as new growth starts. During the summer syringe it frequently to keep off red spider, and during winter maintain a temperature of 55 degrees. Styloforum, celandine poppy, or poppy word, dot. During May and June this hardy and handsome plant produces fine yellow flowers. It accommodates itself to any soil, but prefers a rich, light one and can be increased by seed sown in autumn or early spring. Height, 1 minus a half foot styrax. Ornamental shrubs requiring a light soil for their cultivation. S. japonica has snowdrop-like flowers, and S. obesa lily of the valley-like scented flowers. They are best propagated by layers. Height, 4 feet to 10 feet sunflower dash C. helianthus. Swainsonia galagifolia alba. A graceful and charming cool greenhouse plant, 
with fern-like evergreen foliage and pure white flowers, which are born from April to November. The soil most suitable for it is a mixture of loam and sandy peat. Cuttings of the young growth planted in sand under glass strike readily. Height, 2 feet swallow wort dash C. Asclepius. Swamp lilies dash C. Zephyranthus. Swan river daisy dash C. Brachy cum. Sweet alyssum dash C. alyssum. Sweet flag dash C. acarus. Sweet peas dash C. peas, sweet. Table of contents sweet rocket dash C. rocket. Sweet scabious dash C. scabious. Sweet Sultan Dash Sweet Scented, Thistle Shaped Hardy Annual Flowers, which are very useful for cutting. They may be raised in any garden soil from seed sown in March or April, and will flower in August. Height, 1 minus a half feet Sweet William. Well known hardy perennials, and deservedly favorite border plants, which may be grown in any good soil, but to have them to perfection they should be placed in light, loamy ground mixed with a little old manure and sand. They can be raised with little trouble from seed sown thinly at any time between March and midsummer where they are to bloom, and may also be increased by dividing the old plants in spring. They produce their flowers in July. Height, 1 minus a half foot Symphoricarpus, snowberry, dot. A handsome species of St. Peter's wort. The shrubs will grow in any ordinary soil, are hardy, and readily propagated by suckers, which are produced abundantly, or cuttings may be taken either in spring or autumn. They bloom in August. Height, 4 feet Symphidum caucasicum dash hardy perennials. They will grow in any soil or situation, even thriving under the shade of trees, and may be increased by division. June is the month in which they flower. Height, 3 feet Syringa, lilac. There are many choice varieties of these favorite shrubs, but any of them may be grown in a tolerably good soil. They are propagated by layers or by suckers from the root. They bloom in May or June. Height varies from 4 feet to 12 feet T. taxonia. A beautiful twining shrub belonging to the Passiflora family. It should be provided with a rich soil, and, as the flowers are produced upon the lateral shoots, it requires frequent stopping. Syringe frequently in warm weather to induce a quick growth. It is a quick grower, and, when properly treated, a profuse bloomer, the flowers being produced in July, August, and September. Cuttings of young shoots placed under glass in a sandy soil will strike. Height, 20 feet to jeets, French and African marigolds, dot. Half hardy annuals, very elegant when in flower, and deserve a place in the garden. The seed should be sown on a hotbed in March or April, the plants gradually hardened off, and placed in the open at the end of May in a rich, light soil, when they will flower in August. Height, 1 foot. To 2 minus a half table of contents foot to marix dash neat feathery plants, very suitable for banks and thriving at the seaside, as is evidenced by its luxuriant growth along the parades at Eastbourne. The hardy kinds will grow in any soil, and may be propagated by cuttings planted in the open either in spring or autumn. The greenhouse and stove varieties require a soil of loam and peat. Cuttings of these should be placed in sand under glass. They flower in June and July. Height, 8 feet. To 10 feet tansy dash a feathery foliaged hardy perennial, useful for mixing with cut blooms. No special treatment is required. Height, 11 feet taxis dash cu. Tecoma dash ornamental evergreen shrubs of a twining nature, needing a greenhouse for their cultivation. They require a rich, loamy soil mixed with a little sand, or loam, and peat, and rejoice in shade and moisture. T. cans will grow in the open against a wall, but a warm situation is needed to make it flower. They may be propagated by cuttings of the roots placed in sand under a hand glass, and by layers. Their flowers are produced in July and August. Height, 6 feet to 30 feet Telechia C. Buthulmum. Telema grandiflora. A hardy and very ornamental perennial with round bronzy foliage and spikes of white flowers at midsummer. It succeeds best in peat, but will grow in any rich, light soil. To increase it, divide the roots. 
height, 1 foot tetrathica. Pretty greenhouse evergreen shrubs which produce pink flowers in July. They flourish in a soil consisting of equal proportions of loam, peat, and sand. Cuttings of the young wood planted under glass in a sandy soil will strike. Height, 1 foot Tucrium scorodonia. This hardy herbaceous plant will grow in any ordinary garden soil. It flowers in July, and is easily raised from seed or increased by division. Height, 1 minus a half feet Thalectrum dash hardy fern like perennials, suitable for the backs of borders. They grow well in any light soil from seed sown in spring or autumn, and may also be increased by division. Thermosize Montana, Fabacea, dot dash this hardy perennial produces spikes of yellow lupin-like flowers from June to September. The soil should be light and rich. As the plants suffer by division, it is best to raise them by seed, which may be sown either in autumn or spring. Height. 2 feet Thlodiant Thubia dash a fine climbing plant with handsome foliage and an abundance of fine yellow flowers. Quite hardy. Sow on a hotbed early in spring, and when sufficiently large and strong, pot off, place in a table of contents cold frame to harden, and plant out at the end of May in rich soil. Thrift dash C. Armeria. Thumergia. These slender, Rapid growing climbers are extremely pretty when in bloom during June, but they are only half hardy, they therefore need greenhouse care, or to be planted in a warm situation. They flourish best in a mixture of sandy loam and leaf mold, and may be grown from seed sown in heat, 65 to 75 degrees, early in spring. Cuttings strike readily. Height, 4 feet thea, arborvitae, dot dash very decorative conifers, mostly of conical shape, and indispensable to the shrubbery. They thrive in any soil, but prefer a moist situation. For sheltered positions, where a small dome-shaped bush is required, the Chinese arborvitae, biota orientalis, is most desirable, it delights in a heavy soil. The biota elegantissima is one of the most unique hardy shrubs cultivated, and presents a bright golden appearance. Another effective yellow variety is the Semprorescens, which retains its color throughout the winter, and makes a fine pot plant. One of the most beautiful of all evergreens is the Theopsis dolabrata, its flat, spray-like leaves are bright green above and silvery below. The China varieties are somewhat tender, and require protection from frost. They may all be propagated from seed or by cuttings. Thymus Effective little perennials for rock work, growing best in a light, dry, sandy soil. The hardy kinds like an exposed position, rarer kinds should be grown in pots, as they need protection in winter. They are easily increased by seed sown in spring, by cuttings, or division. Height, 3 inches. To 6 inches. Tiarella dash these hardy herbaceous plants are very suitable for rock work or the front of a border. They are not particular as to soil, they flower in April, and may be propagated by seed or division. Height, 9 inches. To 1 foot Tiarella cordifolia, foam flower, dot. A hardy herbaceous perennial, having fine foliage. It will grow in any good soil, but likes shade and moisture. It may be increased by dividing the roots at the end of the summer. The blooms are produced during May and June. Height, 1 foot Tigridia, fair aria. Mexican tiger flower, popularly called the tiger iris, dot dash a gorgeous flower of exceptional beauty. Plant the bulbs in the sunniest spot out of doors during March, April, or May, in a sandy loam enriched with a liberal amount of leaf mold, placing them 3 inches deep and 6 inches apart, and putting a little silver sand round each bulb before covering it with the soil. Shelter from cutting winds. The blossoms appear in July or August. Each bloom lasts only one day, but is succeeded on the next by fresh ones, so that a continuance of bloom is maintained. Protect them in winter with a covering of dead leaves, or, better still, take them up when they have done flowering, and keep them dry and free from frost. For pot culture plant the bulbs in sandy loam and peat, plunge them in a cold frame, 
and withhold water until table of contents the foliage appears. They may be increased by offsets or seeds. Height, 1 foot tobacco plants dash C. Nicosiana. Tobacco water dash boil 2 ounces. Of shag, or other strong tobacco, in a pint of water. Apply with a soft brush. This is a deadly poison to insects. Tomatoes, love apples, dot dash those intended to be grown in the open should be raised from seed sown the first week in March in pots of very rich, light mold. Place them in a cucumber house or other gentle heat, and when the second leaf appears, pot them off singly, keeping them near the glass and well watered. Towards the end of May remove them to a cold frame to harden off, and plant out as soon as fear of frost is over, in deeply dug and moderately manured ground, against a south wall fully exposed to the sun. Train to a single stem and remove all lateral growths. When the plants are three or four feet, high pinch off the tops to prevent further growth and throw strength into the fruit. Watering should cease as soon as the blossom buds appear, except in periods of very severe drought. When grown under glass tomatoes need to be trained in much the same way as grape vines. Constant attention must be given to removing all useless shoots and exposing the fruit to air and light. An average temperature of 60 degrees should be maintained, with a rather dry and buoyant atmosphere. Toothwort dash C dentaria. Torch lily dash C tritema. Taurinia. These stove and greenhouse plants require a rich soil. They may be increased by seed or division. They flower during June and July. Height. 6 inches to 9 inches. Torn Fort Dash C. Cram Bay Cordifolia. Trade a scanty of Virginica, spider word, dot dash a hardy herbaceous plant. In a light, rich soil it will flower in July. Height, 1 foot. There are other varieties of Trade a they all make good border plants, thrive in any situation, and are continuous bloomers. Transplanting dash plants may be transplanted as soon as they are large enough to handle. They must be lifted carefully with a small trowel, or if they are very small, such as golden feather, with a still smaller blunt article, disturbing the roots as little as possible. It should be done when the ground is wet, and preferably in the evening. In dry weather they should be well watered 12 hours before they are disturbed. Shade them from sun for one or two days. Cabbages, lettuces, cauliflowers, broccoli, kale, and other members of the brassica family must be transplanted, or they will be a failure. Root crops such as carrots, parsnips, turnips, etc., must not be transplanted, but thinned out. Celery may be transplanted in June or July. Table of Contents Traveler's Joy, Clematis Viarna, Dot. This hardy climbing plant grows best in a light soil flowers in August, and is increased by layers of the young shoots in summer. Height, 12 feet trees, plants that flourish under dash ivy, St. John's word, Hypericum callicinum, early flowering white aconite. Tricertus. These greenhouse herbaceous plants bloom in May. A rich, light soil suits them. Height, 6 inches. Triantalis europea, star flower, Dot dash to grow this native perennial to advantage, it should be planted in leaf mold with which a large proportion of sand has been mixed. Confine the roots to a narrow compass by means of slates placed just beneath the surface of the soil. Let the ground be kept moist, but well drained. The bloom is produced during May and June, and it is propagated by runners. Height, 6 inches to 8 inches. Trifolium repens pentaphyllum. A showy, hardy, deciduous perennial. It thrives in ordinary soil, puts forth its white flowers in June, and is propagated by seed or division. Height, 6 inches. Trillium erectum, wood lily, dot dash this tuberous perennial is quite hardy, and flourishes in partial shade. The soil must be light and rich, yet moist. The plant does not increase very fast but the roots of good-sized plants may be divided. It flowers in May and June. Height, 6 inches. Tritlia-a charming spring flowering plant, 
bearing pretty white star-like flowers on slender stalks. It is used largely for edgings. It looks well in clumps on the front of borders. Plant in autumn, and divide the bulbs every two or three years. Height, 6 inches. Tritema, red hot poker, or torch lily, dot dash requires a rich, sandy soil, and to be protected in a frame from wet and frost in the winter. Increase by division or by suckers from the root. The flower spikes grow 18 to 27 inches. Long. The crown of the plant should not be more than 11 halves inches. In the soil, which should be dug deeply and mixed with rotted manure. In winter, if it is left in the ground, surround the plant with 2 inches. Of sawdust, well trodden. Remove this in May, and water liberally with liquid manure till it blooms. The best time to plant is March or October. By many it is considered advisable not to disturb the plant too often. Tritonias. These somewhat resemble miniature gladioli, and are among the most useful bulbs for pot culture. Plant from September to December, placing five or six bulbs in a five inches pot, and using a compost of loam, leaf mold, and silver sand. Plunge the pots in ashes in a cold pit or frame, and keep them dry until the plants appear. When in full growth they may be removed to the conservatory, placing them near the glass, and giving careful attention to watering. For outdoor cultivation choose a sunny, sheltered position, with a light, rich, sandy soil. Give protection in frosty weather by covering with table of contents dry litter. Trollius altaiens, globe flower, dot dash a pretty, hardy herbaceous plant, with very handsome foliage. It likes a light but moist soil, may be increased by seed or by dividing the root, and flowers in May. Height, 9 inches. To 2 feet Trollius asiaticus dash a very pretty herbaceous plant, suitable for the border. It may be raised from seed sown in the autumn, and grown on in light, moist soil. The plant is hardy and flowers in May. Height, 1 foot Tropeolums gerati, scarlet, orange, and black, are remarkable for a slender and graceful growth. Well adapted for covering wire globes, trellises, etc. Lobionum, various colors, dot. Elegant dwarf climbers, suitable either for the conservatory or for outdoor culture. They may also be used for bedding if planted thinly and kept pegged down, or may be grown in window boxes. Height, 6 feet pentaphyllum, red, is slender and graceful, and an elegant climber. Polyphyllum, yellow, succeeds best against a south wall. It is hardy, has rich abundant glaucous foliage, and is a particularly fine climber. Speciosum, scarlet, dot dash of wild, graceful, luxuriant, and slender growth. Fine for covering walls and fences, festooning arches, etc. Plant at the beginning of October in an eastern aspect or at the base of a north wall, the soil and atmosphere being moderately moist. Bury the roots 4 inches. Deep. Tuberosum, yellow and red, is quite hardy, and may be planted in any situation. Generally a light, rich soil is most suitable. The greenhouse varieties may be increased by cuttings placed in sandy soil under glass. The tuberous rooted kinds should be taken up in winter and kept in sand till spring, when they may be planted in a sheltered part of the garden. The annuals merely require to be sown in the open in spring. They flower in July, August, and September. Height, 1 foot to 10 feet, see also canary creeper. Trumpet flower dash see bignonia. Tubros dash plant the bulbs in January in a mixture of sandy loam and rotten dung, or leaf mold, using a small pot for each bulb. Plunge them in a hotbed, taking care that the temperature does not fall below 60 degrees, and withhold water until the foliage appears, when a table of contents moderate amount should be given. When the pots are full of roots, shift the plants into larger ones, and grow on in a house with a uniform high temperature and moist atmosphere. For a succession of bloom place the roots in a cold frame and cover with coconut fiber until growth begins, then remove the fiber, water moderately, 
and transfer the most forward plants to the conservatory. Bloom may be had all the year round by planting in succession from September to June. Tulips-drainage may be considered as the chief means of success in the cultivation of these showy spring flowers. The soil they like best is well-rotted turf cut from pasture land and mixed with a moderate amount of sand, but they will thrive in any ground that is well-drained. The bulbs should be planted during October and November about 3 inches deep and 5 inches apart, either in lines or groups, and they retain their bloom longest in a shady situation. As soon as the leaves begin to decay the bulbs may be taken up, dried, and stored away, keeping the colors separate. For pot culture the single varieties are best. Put three bulbs in a 5 inches. Pot and six in a 6 inches. One, and treat in the same manner as the hyacinth. They may, if desired, be forced as soon as the shoots appear. When required to fill vases, etc. It is a good plan to grow them in shallow boxes, and transfer them when in flower to the vases or baskets. By this method exactitude of height and coloring is ensured. Tulips are divided into three classes, 1, roses, which have a white ground, with crimson, pink, or scarlet marks. 2, biblomens, having also a white ground, but with lilac, purple, or black marks, and, 3, bizarres, with a yellow ground having marks of any color. Tunica dash same treatment as Dianthus. Turkey's beard dash Caesarophyllum. Turnips. To obtain mild and delicately flavored turnips a somewhat light, sandy, but deep, rich soil is necessary. For a first crop sow the early white Dutch variety in February or the beginning of March on a warm border. For succession sow early snowball at intervals of three weeks until the middle of July. For winter use so golden ball, or other yellow fleshed kinds, early in August. Thin each sowing out so that the bulbs stand 9 inches. Apart. To ensure sound, crisp, fleshy roots they require to be grown quickly, therefore moist soil and liberal manuring is necessary, and the ground kept free from weeds. If fly becomes troublesome, dust the plants with quick lime early in the day, while the dew is on them, and repeat the operation as often as is necessary. Tussilago fragrans, winter heliotrope, dot a very fragrant hardy perennial, flowering in January and February. It will grow in any good garden soil and bears division. Height, 1 foot twin flower dash C bravo. U table of contents Ulex Europaeus floor pleno, double furs, dot. This elegant, hardy, Evergreen shrub likes a rich, sandy soil, and may be increased by cuttings planted in a shady border and covered with a hand glass. Height, 5 feet umbilicus chrysanthus. This little alpine plant should occupy a warm, sheltered, and dry situation, and be protected with an overhead screen in wet seasons. The soil it most enjoys is a mixture of peat and coarse sand. Its procumbent stalks emit roots. This new growth may be transplanted in the spring or early summer months. Height, 6 inches. Uvularia-beautiful hardy perennials, producing drooping flowers from May to July. They succeed best in a light, sandy soil and may be increased by dividing the roots. Height, 1 foot. V. vaccinium myrtillus and V. uliginosum-attractive deciduous shrubs. They require to be grown in peat or very sandy loam. In April or May they produce flowers. They can be increased by dividing the creeping roots. Height, 1 minus a half feet vaccinium vitis idea, red whortleberry, dot. A neat native shrub which, with its flowers and clusters of bright red berries, is very attractive in autumn. A rich, light, sandy soil, moist but well drained, is necessary, and the position should be sunny so as to ripen the berries. It may be increased at any time by division. It flowers from May to October. Height, 9 inches. Valeriana dash an ornamental hardy perennial. It will succeed in any garden soil, and merely requires the same treatment as ordinary perennials. It is readily increased by dividing the roots, and produces its flowers in July. 
height, 1 foot. Vegetable marrow dash so in pots during March or April, and place in a cucumber frame or on a hotbed, and cover with a hand glass. Harden off, and plant out about the third week in May in ground previously prepared with a heavy dressing of good stable or farmyard manure, protecting the plants at night for the first week or so with a hand glass or large flower pot. Do not allow the roots to feel the want of water, and keep a sharp lookout for slugs. Seed may also be sown in May in the open. The best way of proceeding in this case is to dig a pit two feet deep and the same in width, fill it with fermenting manure, and put one fort of light mold on top. Let it remain for a week so that the soil may get warm, then sow the seed, and cover it with a hand glass. Train the shoots so that they may have plenty of room, and pinch off the tops when the plant has attained its desired length. Vanidium Hardy annuals, which are best raised from seed sown early table of contents in March on a slight hotbed, and grown in turfy loam, or loam, and peat. They bloom in May. Height, 1 foot Venus's car dash C di litra. Venus's looking glass, specularia speculum, dot. A pretty hardy annual, bearing a profusion of campanula-like flowers in July. Suitable for beds, pots, hanging baskets, or rockwork. It flourishes most in a compost of sandy loam and peat. The seeds are best sown in autumn and wintered in a greenhouse, but they may be raised on a hotbed early in spring. Cuttings of the young wood planted under glass root freely. Height, 9 inches. Venus's navel wort a charming hardy annual for rock work. The seed should be sown early in spring in good garden mold. Height, 6 inches. Veratum dash handsome foliage plants. They are quite hardy, and delight in a rich soil. July is the month in which they flower. They may be raised from seed, or propagated by division. Height, 5 feet verbus gum. A hardy annual, which produces a profusion of showy flowers in July, and is very suitable for the backs of borders. It will thrive in any soil, and is easily raised from seed sown early in spring. Height, 3 feet verbena dash this charming half hardy perennial succeeds best in light, loamy soil. It seeds freely, and roots rapidly by being pegged down. It is usual to take the cuttings in February, as spring struck plants prove best both for growth and flowering. Place a score of cuttings in a 48 sized pot containing one third of drainage material, covered with one inch of rough leaf mold, then filled to within one minus a half inches of the rim with equal parts of loam, leaf mold, or peat and sand, with one third inches of sand on the top. Make the soil firm at the base of the cuttings, and water level. It is, however, more easily obtained from seed raised on a gentle hotbed, and the plants thus raised are more robust and floriferous. It flowers in July. Height, 1 foot verbena, lemon scented dash C. aloysia. Veronica. This graceful evergreen, commonly called speedwell, bears handsome spikes of autumn flowers, and makes a good conservatory or sitting room plant. It stands the winter out of doors in a sheltered position with a dry subsoil. The annual varieties may be sown in autumn for spring flowering. Any light, rich, moist soil suits them. The hardy perennial kinds are increased by dividing the roots, and the greenhouse varieties by seeds or cuttings. The different species flower from July to October. Height, 1 foot to 10 feet Vesicaria grica. A small hardy evergreen shrub, suitable for rock work or edgings. It likes a light, dry soil, and an open situation. It may be propagated by seeds, which are freely produced. But the readiest way to increase it is by cuttings of the side shoots, taken as early as possible so as to become well rooted before cold table of contents weather sets in. It flowers from April to June. Height, 6 inches to 8 inches. Viburnum opulus, Gelder rose, or snowball tree, dot. A very elegant and hardy deciduous shrub, which will grow in any soil, and may be increased by layers, or by cuttings planted in the shade under glass. It blooms in June. Height, 
12 feet viburnum tinus, loristinus, dot. This well-known and much admired evergreen shrub produces masses of white flowers through the winter months, at which season it is especially ornamental. It is generally propagated by layers, but where a number of the plants are required they may be obtained from autumn cuttings planted in the shade and covered with a hand glass. Height, 5 feet Vicia pyrenaica. A hardy and good perennial for rock work, having compact tufts of green growth and producing deep crimson flowers in May and June. It will grow in any soil, and is of easy culture. It is increased by seed, also by division of the roots. Height, 1 foot vinca, periwinkle, dot. Many of these are variegated and very showy as rock work plants, and will grow in any moist soil, enjoying a shady situation. They may be raised from seed sown early in spring in a warm situation, or may be increased by runners, which strike root at the joints like the strawberry. They may be planted under the shade of trees. Many choice greenhouse evergreens bearing fine circular flowers and shining foliage are also included under the name of vinca. Height, 2 feet vines dash sea grapes. Violas. The hardy perennials are suitable for the front of flower borders or rock work, but the smaller species succeed best when grown in pots in a mixture of loam, peat, and sand. The herbaceous kinds are increased by seed or division of the roots, the shrubby varieties by cuttings planted under glass, and the annuals by seed sown in the open in spring. Height, 3 inches to 6 inches. Violets. Plant the runners or offsets in May in loam and leaf mold, choosing a damp, shady situation. Russian and Neapolitan violets may be made to flower throughout the winter and early spring by placing them in a stove or warm pit. Dog-toothed violets will grow in any light soil. Autumn is the best time to plant them, and one inch of silver sand round the roots prevents decay, they are hardy and early, but will not bloom unless planted nine inches deep. White violets like a chalky soil. One of the best manures for violets is the ash from bonfires. They may be multiplied to any extent by pegging down the side shoots in April. The common violet flowers in March and April. Height, 6 inches. Virgilia dash for the most part greenhouse shrubs, requiring to be grown in a compost of loam, peat, and sand. Young cuttings planted in sandy loam and covered with glass will strike. The hardy kinds, such as V. Lutea, grow in any light soil, and are increased by laying down shoots in autumn or spring. July is the month in which they flower. Height, table of contents from 2 feet to 12 feet. Virginian creeper, Ampelopsis hideracea, dot dash may be propagated by layers or cuttings, and will grow in any common garden soil. The plant is also known as the five-leaved ivy, is a rapid grower, and a favorite for covering unsightly walls. Virginian stock. This pretty little hardy annual is readily raised from seed sown on a border in autumn or spring. It is not particular as to soil. Height, 9 inches. Virgin's bower dash C. clematis. Viscaria sealy rosa, the rose of heaven, dot dash so in April, or on a warm, dry, sheltered spot in September. Other varieties of Viscaria are graceful and effective in beds, masses, or lines, and only require the usual care bestowed upon hardy annuals. The flowers are produced in June and July. Height, 1 foot Vitus heterophylla dash these vines are hardy, and will grow in any rich soil. They are propagated by cuttings, and also by layers. V. purpureus has purple leaves, which are very effective. V. coing eti, or the Chinese vine, has very noble foliage. W. Wallenbergia dash the hardy perennial kinds thrive best in pots, the soil in which should be kept moist. The annuals, which are raised on a hotbed in March, may be planted out in May in a warm situation. Waitsia dash very beautiful half hardy annuals, but more suitable for the greenhouse than the open flower bed. They require a sandy peat and leaf mold, and the pots to be well drained as too much water is as destructive to them as too little. They may be had in flower from May to August by making two sowings, 
one in September and the other in February, and keeping them in the greenhouse. When large enough to handle, pot off into three inches. Pots, putting two plants in each pot close to the sides, and shift them into larger ones when they have made sufficient growth. Place them in a dry and airy situation and near the glass. They are unable to stand the least frost, therefore, if they are planted out, it should not be done before the beginning of June. Height, 11 halves feet Waldsteina fragarioides dash a hardy and pretty trailing rock plant, with deep green foliage. From March to May it bears yellow strawberry-like flowers. Any soil suits it, and it may be increased by seed or division. Height, 6 inches. Wallflower, Chironthus, dot dash these favorite hardy perennials prefer a rich, light, sandy soil, and a dry situation. The seed may be sown where it is intended for them to bloom either in autumn or spring. Table of contents thin out to two feet apart. They may also be increased by shoots torn from the stems of old plants. As well as flowering early in spring, they often bloom in the autumn. Height, one minus a half feet. Walnuts dash the nuts for raising young trees may be planted at any time between October and the end of February 3 in deep and one minus a half feet apart. Train to a single stem eight to ten feet high, removing all the side branches as soon as they make an appearance. The following year they may be planted in their permanent position, which should be high, yet sheltered from frost. Two of the best tall growing varieties are thin-shelled and Neuer abiju. The dwarf prolific makes a good bush tree. Wand plant dash C galax. Wasps. To destroy wasps rinse a large bottle with spirits of turpentine, and thrust the neck into the principal entrance to their nest, stopping up all the other holes to prevent their escape. In a few days the nest may be dug up. The fumes of the spirit first stupefies and eventually destroys the insects. Watercress dash so in prepared places, during spring, in sluggish brooks and moist situations, or it may be grown on a shady border if kept moist by frequent waterings. It may also be grown in a frame in September from cuttings placed 6 inches apart, sprinkling them daily, but keeping the frame closed for 2 or 3 weeks, then watering once a week. Give all the air possible in fine weather, but cover the frame with mats during frosts. It is best when grown quickly. What's only a dash plant the bulbs during January in sandy loam with a little peat. They flower in April. Height, one minus a half feet weeds in paths these may be destroyed by strong brine, applied when hot. Or mix half a pound. Of oil of vitriol with six gallons of water, and apply, taking care not to get the vitriol on the hands or clothes. Wake Elia dash free flowering, hardy, deciduous shrubs, the flowers being produced in profusion along the shoots in April, and varying in color from white to deep crimson. The plants will grow in any soil, and require no special culture. All the varieties force well, and may be increased by cuttings. Height, 6 feet white scale dash C scale. Whitlavia dash a hardy annual, needing no special treatment. It may be sown in autumn, and protected during winter in a frame, or it may be raised in spring in the open ground, where it will bloom in June. Height, 2 feet wortleberry dash C vaccinium. Wigandia caracassina dash A stove deciduous shrub which thrives best in a mixture of loam and peat. Cuttings in sand will strike if placed under table of contents glass and in heat. It flowers in April. Height, 10 feet wind flowers dash C anemones. Winter aconite, Around this high emulus, dot dash this is one of the very first of flowers to bloom, being in advance of the snowdrop. In the bleakest days of winter this little flower covers the ground with its gilt spangles. Plant in early autumn. Any soil or situation suits it, but it does best in a light mold and a moist, shady position, or under trees. Most effective when planted in masses. The tubers may remain permanently in the ground, or they may be lifted and divided in summer, as soon as the foliage dies down. Flowers are produced from December to February. Winter cherry dash C physical alice. Winter heliotrope dash C tussiligo. 
wireworms. Before using mold for potting purposes it is advisable to examine it carefully and pick out any wireworms that are in it. For the border the best traps are small potatoes with a hole cut in them, buried at intervals just beneath the surface of the soil. Wisteria. This noble wall plant may be abundantly produced, as a long layer will root at every joint. It will also grow from cuttings of the plant and root. Though of slow growth at first, when well established it is very free growing and perfectly hardy. It may also be grown as a small tree for the lawn or centers of large beds by keeping the long twining shoots pinched in. Which hazel dash C. hamamelis. With Ania oregonifolia, Pampas lily of the valley, dot dash a hardy climbing plant, attaining a height of 20 or 30 feet in a very short period. The foliage is small, but very dense and of a dark green, the flowers being white. It may be raised from seed, and when once established the roots may remain undisturbed for any length of time, merely removing the stems as soon as they are destroyed by frost. Wolfsbane-C Aconite Wood, to preserve dash in order to prevent wooden posts, piles, etc., from rotting, dip the parts to be sunk in the earth in the following composition dash fine, hard sand, 300 parts, powdered chalk, 40 parts, resin, 50 parts, linseed oil, 4 parts. Heat these together in a boiler, then add red lead, 1 part, sulfuric acid, 1 part. Mix well together, and use while hot. If too thick, more linseed oil may be added. This composition when dry attains the consistency of varnish, and becomes extremely hard. Wood lily dash C trillium. Woodroof dash C aspirula. Table of contents worms, to destroy dash to each 5 pounds of newly slaked lime add 15 gallons of water. Stir it well, let it settle, draw off the clear portion, and with it water the surface of the lawn, etc. The worms will come to the top and may be swept up. Worms in pots may be brought to the top by sprinkling a little dry mustard on the surface of the soil, and then giving the plant a good watering. Wolfenia carinthiaca. A pretty and hardy perennial from the Corinthian Alps, suitable alike for rock work or the border, throwing up spikes of blue flowers from May to July. During winter place it in a frame, as it is liable to rot in the open. It needs a light, rich, sandy soil and plenty of moisture when in growth. Cuttings will strike in sand, it may also be propagated by seeds or division. Height, 1 foot x xeranthemum dash these charming everlasting annuals retain, in a dried state, their form and color for several years. They are of the easiest culture, merely requiring to be sown in spring in light, rich soil to produce flowers in July. Height, 2 feet xerophyllum asphodeloids, turkey's beard, Dot dash a showy hardy perennial with tufts of graceful, curving, slender foliage. From May to July, when it bears spikes of white flowers, it is very handsome. It does best in a peat border, and may be increased by well-ripened seed or by division. Height, 1 minus a half feet zerats. Herbaceous plants, which thrive well in any light, rich soil and are readily increased by dividing the roots. They flower in June. Height, 2 feet yu, taxis, dot dash for landscape gardening the old gold striped, Bacata aurea variegata, is most effective. The Japanese variety, T. Adpressa, is a pleasing evergreen having dark green leaves and large scarlet berries, it is very suitable for the front of large borders. The common yu, Bacata, grows dense and bushy, and is excellent for hedges. The dark green leaves of the Irish yew, Bacata fastigiata, make a fine contrast with lighter foliage. Dovestonii is a fine weeping yew with long dark green leaves and extra large red berries. There are many other good sorts. The yew likes shade and moisture, but it is not very particular as to soil, loams and clay suiting it admirably. Yucca dash this plant, popularly known as Adam's needle thrives best in dry, sandy loam. It is quite hardy, and does well on rock work, to which it imparts a tropical aspect, Yucca recurva has fine drooping table of contents leaves, and is suitable for vases, 
etc. It bears a white flower. Yuccas are mostly evergreen shrubs, are very beautiful, and have the habit of palm trees. A light, rich soil suits them all. They are increased by suckers from the root. They make handsome plants for lawns, terraces, ornamental vases, the center of beds, or subtropical gardens, and bloom in September. Height, 2 feet z zochneria. A Californian half-hardy perennial plant which bears a profusion of scarlet tube-shaped flowers from June to October. It grows freely in a sunny position in any dry, light, gravelly, rich soil, and is increased by division of roots or by cuttings. Height, 1 foot zia, Indian corn, dot. This is best raised in a hotbed early in spring, but it will germinate in ordinary soil in May. It requires a sunny situation. Height, 2 feet to 3 feet zia japonica variegata, striped Japanese maize, dot. A fine half-hardy annual ornamental grass, the foliage being striped green and white, and growing to the height of 3 feet the cultivation is the same as the foregoing. Zephyranthus, swamp lilies, dot dash plant on a warm border in a rather sandy, well-drained soil. Give protection in severe weather, and supply with water during the growing season. Take up and divide every second or third year. The flowers are produced in July. Height, 9 inches. Zinnia dash a genus of very pretty annuals, well deserving of cultivation. The seeds must be raised on a gentle hotbed in spring, and planted out in June first foot apart in the richest of loamy soil and warmest and most sheltered position. Height 1 foot to 11 halves feet. 